All right, everybody. You all know this truck behind me. Well, that's Betty. And uh, don't mind the surroundings of the shop. I'm very busy and I'm waiting on UPS. So UPS just put me to a standstill. But I want to give you a, the, uh, the story of Betty. Um, Betty, of course, is my service truck, Betty White. And a couple guys out there know how Betty White came across her name. It's not just because she's a white truck. Uh, but I had to do some cleanup on it because I've been running the tar out of this thing. To, uh, well, I haven't had a day off in over a month. It's probably been a month and a half. Seven days a week. And the truck really started looking at So, she got the pressure washer treatment. Uh, I had to go through the back, clean everything out. And, I mean, uh, there's the YouTube Hall of Fame up there. I want you to notice something with Betty. Now, it's white, so it's hard to tell, but look. See the dents? The door's dented. Dents, dents. She's got a little bit of rot right there. Boy, won't focus. But, there isn't a panel on this truck that doesn't have a dent in it. Betty's my workhorse. I got Betty out of Williamsburg, Virginia. Uh, and the reason I'm telling you this, telling you to run down on Betty is because I've had some people tell me, why didn't you get a new truck? Why are you running that old piece of junk? Uh, how you turn a profit? All kinds of comments. Not, not just comments, not, not YouTube comments, but just guys that I end up on job sites with. So I'm going to explain to you why I have Betty. Uh, Betty was, I bought her out of Williamsburg, Virginia. Betty was a Norfolk city truck. That's where she started off as. Then a uh, heavy equipment company bought Betty and it was the owner's truck. The guy ran Betty for a little bit and he parked Betty in the garage and he started, he got a new service truck, he got a new Peterbilt. Upgrade, you know, nice crane, hydraulics, you know, all the goodies. Well, Betty sat in the guy's garage, I believe he told me three years, untouched. And I was looking to buy a service truck. I actually had a truck in mine that was out in Wisconsin. It was identical to Betty, but it had a welding department on the front of it. So, I was looking for a service truck and I found Betty on the computer. And I ended up buying her. I drove down, Never, I never saw her, I saw five pictures. Uh, took the truck and trailer down and bought her right then and there. Loaded her up on the trailer and brought her home. So, people want to say, why do you drive around in an old truck like that? I'm going to explain something to you. I paid more for that welder than I did for the truck. Okay? Now, everyone says about, why are you driving an old truck? I need to have something new. Betty's rough, but Betty has 71,000 miles on her. I bought Betty, she had 58,000 miles on her. 53 or 58, somewhere in there, I don't know. So, mileage wise, pretty much new truck. Uh, 
I brought her home. New radiator, new fan, new water pump, new throttle body, new injectors, bigger pressure, reg bigger pressure regulator, bigger fuel pump, new complete distributor, new computer. Uh, what else did I do? All new brakes, all the way around. They were like brand new, didn't matter. All new brakes, all the way around. New brake lines. All the way around. Betty has no rust underneath. None. Got rid of the exhaust on Betty. Had to make her breathe. Now I'll tell you a little bit about her. Betty is a gasser. That's why she's got a new distributor. Um, it's a 366 big block. Has 4 speed Allison in it. And 617 rear in it. She's not the fastest thing in the world. She don't climb the hills the fastest, but she'll move anything off the start. She just pull like you wouldn't believe. The truck was brand new. It was just in 1990. It wasn't used. You know, it wasn't used hard. When they had it, to beat the tar out of the body on it, you know, looks wise, but she just, she goes and goes and goes. And for what I have into her, it's kind of like a no-brainer. Now, people want to know, why do you have a gasser? Why do you have a gasser? Well, to tell you the honest truth, she still gets about eight miles to the gallon, which doesn't seem like much, but put that in comparison to a fully loaded diesel service truck. Pretty much right there. And also... If the motor ever comes apart, I can drop a crate motor in for less than half of what that diesel cost. So, yeah, that's, that's the story on Betty. That's how I ended up with her. I drove down, picked her up, coldest day of the year, and uh, I used a petty bone to push her up on the trailer. That's how I acquired Betty, and that's how she came to be. So, yeah, she might not be the prettiest. She's definitely not the newest. She's not the strongest. But I'm going to tell you right now, out of all the service trucks I ever ran, with the short wheelbase on this thing and the reliability, pound for pound, this is the best service truck I've ever had. It really is. Nowhere near new. But get on a job with her. That's the best gun I could have. I mean, that's, that's, my, that's my fighting partner there, you know. But, yeah, she pulls her weight. So, but Betty got cleaned up today. Like I said, I'm waiting on... I don't know why this thing's going out of focus. I think it's because there's glare. It's not used to seeing the glare coming off of Betty. But, all right, everybody. See you later.